Kentucky's sixth and newest commissioner of education, Steve Pruitt, oversees the state's 675,000 public school students and is charged with leading the Commonwealth's continuing education reform efforts. Dr. Pruitt is a third-generation educator who at one time thought about a different path. We'll have a conversation with him about his goals for improving education, the funds he's seeking to get there, and a lot more coming up on Connections. And Commissioner Pruitt, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Yes. So glad to be here. A belated welcome to Kentucky as well, and Happy New Year to you and all those good things. Thank you. Uh, just in this quick little time that we have, tell us about what you hope to accomplish, and particularly in this legislative session of the General Assembly where they'll be deciding a budget and taking up some education initiatives. What do you hope to wedge into that conversation successfully? I think the biggest thing that we want to wedge into that conversation is the opportunity we have through the uh, authorization of the Elementary, uh, uh, Elementary and Secondary Education Act, now known as the Every Student Succeeds Act. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a great opportunity to develop a new accountability system, new assessment systems, and we hope that'll be a big uh, topic of conversation with our General Assembly because I want this to be something that, that we as Kentuckians, all of us, have an opportunity to develop something that can be reflective of our education system. How is this federal program different from other iterations by different names and acronyms and initials? <laughs> well, they all have different acronyms, yeah. um, but uh, it's different because really they put the, the um, pressure on the states to come up with our own system. We've been asking for years for them to let states decide what our own accountability should be, uh, and they've done that. They've followed through with that, and so it, now it's time to put our money where our mouth is, so to speak, and we actually have that opportunity. And it's something that we're going to have to deal with as a con community of Kentuckians because we want it to be something that, that we can be proud of, that celebrates what's good about our schools, but also holds people accountable to ensure equity of access to all of our kids. One of the things we do expect is a conversation dialogue in both chambers of the General Assembly and with the governor about charter schools. Mm -hmm. Define for us your position about charter schools and how you hope to influence lawmakers to consider your perspective. Well, I've had a, a pretty rich history with charter schools personally. Uh, I believe that they are public schools um, and that uh, the local board is an authorizer of, of, the, uh, of the public school, but there are, is a role that the State Board of Education plays in uh, overseeing uh, the charter school just to ensure that there's equity of admission and, and that, that, that there is actually accountability uh, just like there is in, in the more traditional public schools. And in Georgia, where are you from? They were successful? It was a mixed bag. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, uh, that especially when I was there, there was a, a, a very, very much uh, some that did great jobs, some that did not. But there was always the, the idea that if you weren't doing a good job, you weren't going to stay a charter for very long. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to have a whole lot more with Commissioner Pruitt coming up on Connections Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2 and Sunday, the main channel at 1.30. And make sure you follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, and my blog prompter. We sure hope you'll join us.